Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 130 of our trek and yesterday we hiked the trail of be, do and have and learn why it is so important to follow those steps each day to have a rich and satisfying life. Today and for the next few days, we will remain at camp and continue to dig for the nuggets of wisdom contained in the book of Proverbs. And starting today, we will begin in chapter 2. Once we complete the entire book of Proverbs, we will make the entire commentary available in an ebook. If you have any of your own observations, comments, or questions as we explore these nuggets of wisdom, please share them on the comment section of our daily journal at wisdom-trek.com. We are recording our podcast today from our studios at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. And as we prepare for a short trip to Phoenix this weekend, I'll be recording a few episodes in advance since I will not have the opportunity or the time to record while I'm traveling. The next few days are jam-packed with work, so that it will require a couple late nights this week before we take off. And as we remain in camp during our study of Proverbs, it is similar to taking the proper time to study the trail maps so that we can have a safe and expedient hike. The book of Proverbs provides us with wisdom maps so that we can navigate life safely and expediently as we gain wisdom, insight, and discernment. The title for Proverbs chapter 2 is The Benefits of Wisdom, and we will see that there are many benefits on our daily life's trek as we study through the book of Proverbs. So let's begin. The Benefits of Wisdom. And I'll start by reading verses 1 through 4 of chapter 2. My child, listen to what I say and treasure up my commands. Tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insight and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would silver. Seek for them like hidden treasures. So our first point we want to look at is our search for wisdom. We must greatly desire wisdom. We must listen to it. We must desire it. We must ask questions so that we can learn more. We must hunt for wisdom like somebody who searches for gold. Psalms 42.1 puts it in a similar manner. As the deer longs for the streams of water, so I long for you, O God. We also see in Job chapter 28, Job describes it this way. Job's dialogue is, A man digs deep into the earth, he breaks through the rocks, he enters places that no animal has seen. He finds gold and silver, he discovers many things. However, he cannot find wisdom there. Wisdom is not in the deep sea. You cannot buy wisdom, not even with gold. But Job tells us how to find wisdom in in chapter 28, verse 28. And he tells us this. And this is what he says to all humanity. The fear or respect of the Lord is true wisdom. To forsake evil is real understanding. So let's continue on in Proverbs with verses 5 through 8. And this section is the reward of wisdom. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord, and you will gain the knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He grants a treasure of common sense to the honest. He is a shield to those who walk with integrity. He guards the path of the just and protects those who are faithful to him. And we see in this passage, if we respect God, then we shall become wise. God gives his wisdom to us. We are his people and he guards us. He defends us. He protects us because he loves us. Psalms 23 compares God to a man who owns sheep and the shepherd looks after his sheep. He provides them with food and water. He cares about them, and in the same way, God looks after us. When we are in danger, God protects us. Today I want to read Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me besides the peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along the right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valleys, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemy. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. From here, let's move on to the journey of life in verses 9 through 15 of Proverbs. And this section is titled, The Journey of Life. Then you will understand what is right, just, and fair. You will find the right way to go. For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Wisdom shall save you from the evil people, from those whose words are twisted. These men turn from the right paths and walk down dark paths. They take pleasures in doing wrong, and they enjoy the twisted way of evil. Their actions are crooked, 
and their ways are wrong. As we study the Bible, it often compares life to a journey, just like I do with Wisdom Trek, comparing our life to a journey. As we look at one of the patriarchs, Abraham, his whole life was a journey. He traveled from Ur to Haran, and then to Canaan. And in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 10, this is written, Abraham was confidently looking forward to a city with eternal foundations, a city designed and built by God. But he didn't find this place on earth. And in Hebrews 11:16 it says, But they were looking for a better place, a heavenly homeland. And that is why God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. And even Jesus, as we studied his life, compared life to a journey. In Matthew 7, verse 13 and 14, Jesus puts it this way, You can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad, and its gate is wide for the many who choose that way. But the gateway to life is very narrow, and the road is difficult, and only a few will ever find it. As we look back at the book of Proverbs in the passage we read, the book of Proverbs also tells us of two ways to journey. In verse 13, the evil men walk in dark paths. They hide from the light because the light would show up their evil behavior. Also in verse 15, Solomon says that evil men choose the wrong path. It's so easy to choose the wrong path in the dark. This wrong path is like their evil behavior. Their behavior is like the road that leads to death and hell, as we'll look at tomorrow in verse 18. If we follow God's wisdom, though, then our paths are good, as it described in verse 9. We are like the travelers who choose the right way. We know where we are going. We act fairly. Our decisions are good. This is the right road for life's journey. It leads us to heaven, which we'll look at tomorrow in verse 19. But today we continued our trek of Proverbs, and as we did, we learned about the benefits of wisdom through the search for wisdom, the reward for wisdom, and the journey of life. Think about these points for today, and then join us tomorrow as we will continue in Proverbs chapter 2 for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And that'll finish our podcast for today. Remember to listen to your daily dose of wisdom at wisdom-trek.com or subscribe at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Spreaker, or YouTube. And if you do that, the episodes will be downloaded to you automatically each day. And I would like to ask a favor if you'd please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person so that they can come along with us each day on our journey. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.